Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 22nd of 2023. Well, it is titled IC 342 hidden galaxy in Camelopardalis. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a nearby galaxy, in fact, only 10 million light years away. That's about four times the distance of the Andromeda galaxy and makes it one of the nearer spiral galaxies to us here on Earth. Now it's called the hidden galaxy because of its location. It happens to be located beyond the Milky Way when you have to look through the plane of the Milky Way to be able to see it. Now that becomes a problem because our galaxy is a spiral galaxy as well and has a lot of dust in the plane of the galaxy and dust will dim the light of stars and galaxies trying to come through it. So when we try to look at something through the plane of our galaxy it's very difficult to see because its light gets faded by passing through that dust. The dust will block out some of the light. So it will actually do two things. And if you look at this galaxy, you'll see that it doesn't look like the typical spiral galaxy. Sure, its structure looks fine, but the coloring seems off. It seems very red. And spiral galaxies are typically quite blue. Well, when light passes through dust, the dust is very good at scattering out the shorter wavelengths, the blue light. So it will block out that blue light better and scatter it away, allowing only the redder light to come through. So dust does two things to a star, or in this case, a galaxy. It makes the light fainter, so it's less light and it look, makes things look fainter than they otherwise would. And it makes them look redder. So this was a big problem years and many hund hundreds of years ago when we were trying to figure out distances to objects because we did not if we did not know about dust until we understood its distribution and how it worked we would then be getting erroneous values for distances. We would think objects looked fainter than they truly were which was what the dust was causing and therefore they would we would think they were farther away than they actually were. So now with other methods and a better understanding of the dust we can get accurate measurements for galaxies even like this hidden galaxy hidden by the plane of our own Milky Way because besides that it would be one of the more prominent galaxies that we see in the night sky. So that was our picture of the day for November 22nd of 2023. It was titled IC 342 Hidden Galaxy in Camelopardalis. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.